In the heart of the surface paradise tourist strip. Big business, there's big money in it. So money yeah. that could be going to real Aboriginal artists. Yep, yep. Aboriginal artist Michael McGuan is taking me on a tour of some of the most popular souvenir stores. It's a whole rack of, of fake product. Yeah, these are just cheap rip-offs designed to try and trick people. Michael can pick a dodgy ditch from a mile away. Hand painted, design in Australia. Well, of course they were designed in Australia. Yeah, yeah. yeah the boomerang. <laughs> about <laughs> 60,000 yeah. years ago. It was about 10 years ago when, struggling to find a job, he started working with Brisbane-based wholesaler Birabi Art. This one here and this one here are the exact same design that I used to do at Birabi Art. He claims the owner, Ben Wooster, paid him to add the final touches of paint to Aboriginal artefacts made in Indonesia. I had suspicions when I started doing bamboo didgeridoos, obviously they're not a traditional thing. And he's told me that the background and that was done by other people and all I had to do was fill in an animal. When did it dawn on you that, hang on a second, these things are fake? When we painted them, up the top they had the wax bit and on top of that was a Made in Indonesia sticker. Part of our job with painting them was to also remove that sticker. So, so you'd take off the Made in Indonesia sticker? Yep. Yep, you'd have to take that off. Michael says that after adding his paint, Birabi Art would then market it as the real thing. They would sell it as authentic Aboriginal artwork, so hand painted by me. No mention of Indonesia? No. So the sticker on the product at point of sale yep. said that all the artwork had been done by you? Yep. Did you feel guilty about it? I felt guilty for a long time, which is partly why it's taken me so long to say something. Michael's claim that some Australian businesses remove Made in Indonesia stickers is a revelation that's backed by our own undercover investigations in Bali. Maybe your customer yeah. don't know Made yeah. in Bali. This Balinese business owner, who supplies a number of Australian wholesalers, says the Made in Indonesia stickers are all for show. So it doesn't have to say made in Indonesia on the no, back? No, 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 nobody, <laughs> nobody. But these stickers, yeah, made this, in this, Indonesia. This for custom. Sometimes custom, uh, sometime a customer need it, sometimes no. This is only the custom. Implying that an imported souvenir is genuine when it's not is illegal. And the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission is now cracking down on these dodgy tactics. But look, these are all the same. It's got to be coming out of the same factory. Recently, it accused Ben Wooster's Birabi Art of misleading customers over the authenticity of 18,000 products it's sold in souvenir stores since 2014. Mr Wooster, they're serious claims, which Mr Wooster had no interest in explaining when we caught up with him in Brisbane. I'd like to have a chat to you about selling fake Aboriginal art products. No, well, I'm not, not obliged, obliged to, uh, to comment. You're not obliged? No. Thank you. But have you any shame? Can you please leave the property? The We're allegations, are which are refuted to... by Birabi Art, will be heard in federal court later this year. Ben Wooster also issued a statement to 60 Minutes, insisting he doesn't source any products from Bali. Good morning, Jonathan. 60 Minutes. How are you? I'm Liam Bartlett. Nice but there are still plenty of businesses operating within the grey area between what's illegal or perhaps just morally wrong. Oh, no, sure. I'd love to talk to That'd you. That'd be great. We also approached Jonathan Naiman, the owner of Romike, one of the biggest wholesalers in the industry, to ask why he thinks selling imported Aboriginal artefacts is ridgy ditch. How can you import anything and call it Indigenous Aboriginal artefacts? Well, if, if the art is designed by an indigenous artist, as long as it's clearly marked that the art that the art has actually uh, been manufactured overseas and all Look, of them. How are the imported it, products the, marked? Tell made me. Made in Indonesia. Ma all of them, are they? Yeah. But that doesn't seem to be the case in at least one of the shops 
where Mr. Naiman's Romike souvenirs are sold. Well, they shouldn't put uh, words on my back because it's misleading for the customers. Yeah. This Queensland retailer was unhappy with the labelling on a recent order of boomerangs from Romike and was in the process of sending them back. Well, I sent him a, a text, sent him a text saying, uh, show him these photos. Australia handmade. And he goes, what a mess, they sent some of the old stock to you. What's the company, Romike. Back in Sydney, Mr. Naiman eventually admitted during a bizarre off-camera rant inside his warehouse that he is in the process of replacing Romike's old stock and blamed any bodgy or misleading labelling on the company's previous owner, his own father. Now, this is one of the factories in Indonesia, in Bali. Wow. Wow. In the Northern Territory, the idea that businessmen should be allowed to continue to profit from a trade in fake artefacts horrifies Indigenous artist Bandak Marika almost as much as it does seeing an Indonesian making them. Painting? Painting them. It's not even using brush. Those didgeridoos will go to the customer under the auspice of being an Aboriginal artefact. No, crook. That's crook. Crook. Crooked. The way she sees it, it's cultural theft, and it needs to be banned immediately. The market is flooded with fake Aboriginal art. If that trend continues, what will happen to the real thing? It's like anything, you know. Things go out of phase, no matter what, where you're living, and you see things going and going and gone. If the fake art is then um, continues to do what they're doing and it floods, totally floods the market, you'll see the genuine art out of the picture. That would be disastrous. That's right. Art actually represents us. It's like a, a passport. It's our ide identification. Fake arts don't represent any of that. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.